IMO 2020 from one state. Consider the convex quadrilateral ABCD. The point P is in the interior of ABCD. The following ratio equalities hold. Angle PAD to angle PVA to angle DPA is 1 to 2 to 3 is angle CBP to angle BAP to angle BPC. Prove that the following three lines meet in a point. The internal bisector of angles ADP and PCB and the perpendicular bisector of segment AB. Since this is a geometry problem, the first thing we should do is draw a diagram. When I first saw the conditions, I found the ratios pretty weird, but actually they're what we would call a scam because they make the problem seem harder than it actually is. The first diagram you should draw for this kind of problem is an approximate diagram just to see where the points are roughly. Once you see the diagram is pretty much centered around triangle APB, this leads to an equivalent formulation of the problem. Consider a triangle APV with angle PAV is equal to 2 alpha and angle PBA is equal to 2 beta. Construct the point C such that angle CPB is equal to alpha and angle CPB is equal to 3 alpha. Similarly, construct the point D such that angle DAP is equal to beta and angle DPA is equal to 3 beta. Prove that the angle bisectors of angle BPC and angle APD and the perpendicular bisector of AB pass through a common point. Now that we have the equivalent formulation of the problem, we can solve it. Use the usual method of drawing in the circumcenter and circumcircle of the triangle APB first and then draw in C and D. Then we might notice that both the angle bisectors actually pass through the circumcenter of triangle APB. This makes sense since the circumcenter of triangle APB does lie on the perpendicular bisector of AB. So if we prove this, we're done. Another thing we might observe is that if X is the intersection of the two angle bisectors, then ADPX and BCPX both look roughly cyclic. Let the circumcenter of triangle APB be O. By our observations, we can conjecture that ADPO is cyclic, and by symmetry, so is BCPO. Let's prove this with an angle chase. Note that angle AOP is equal to 4 beta, since the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. By triangle AOP being isosceles, note that Angle PAO is equal to angle APO is equal to 90 minus 2 beta. So we get that angle DAO is equal to beta plus 90 minus 2 beta is equal to 90 minus beta. Whereas angle DPO is equal to 3 beta plus 90 minus 2 beta which is equal to 90 plus beta. Hence the two opposite angles of this quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees, and so ADPO is cyclic. Similarly, BCPO is also cyclic. Now we're almost done. Note that angle ADO is equal to angle APO because of the cyclic quad, which is equal to angle PAO because of an isosceles triangle, which is equal to angle PDO by the cyclic quad again. Hence, O lies on the angle bisector of angle ADP. Similarly, O lies on the angle bisector of angle BCP. By definition, O lies on the perpendicular bisector of AB. Hence, we are done.